Hello. Hello. What's and, your and you're name? In Wally. Wally. Yeah. <laughs> Do you uh, have a son? <laughs> I have one son and three daughters. Uh, and Did you come from a tradition where your family gave money away? Well, we gave money away to museums. Yeah, and hospitals, hospitals and museums. And I guess consciously we decided that we're founding grassroots organizations in all, in all cases. I, I feel like a custodian of, of a certain amount of money. And it was made with my help, I suppose, because our company started in 1928, and I came with my dad in 58, and then my son came with me in 88. And now, with my son being able to do such a wonderful job, I've been able to pull away totally and involve myself in giving money away. We both came from very politically conservative families. Oh, you did? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Very. And I remember when I married you, and then when you decided it would be good if we joined a temple because you played tennis with Leonard Beerman, we sh should look into that temple. And he gave us a sense of feeling for the underdog and for, for justice, economic and social and political justice, and I think that no we, we took that to heart. I mean, Wally and Susie have never been good at defending themselves for long against the demands of conscience. And she and Wally have made their home the locus of, of the, um, the work of so many organizations that have to do with diminishing the store of agony in the world. And because I'm in the real estate business, it was a, a, a very interesting for me to understand that when the city subsidizes projects, it's important that the uh, people in the city who are being sometimes displaced, uh, that the city returns some of that, or the developer returns some of that. I worked with Lane for a while. I went down to their office and I tried to do to be helpful in some of their projects. Uh, we're doing a fundraiser for uh, CISPUS, the Coalition in Support of the El Salvadorian People, to allow people to run without having to phone for dollars constantly. And uh, we think it's a much more democratic procedure. So when I thought about uh, single payer, and it's another reason to get involved with single payer effort, I got involved with the day laborers to give some kind of organizational effort to bring these people together, to help them learn English, to help them in other skills. This is turning everything on its head, living with Wally, where you see the hope and the possibility and the positive, and it makes me feel more human and better inside. If there is no struggle, there is no progress. Power concedes nothing without demand. And so it's through the, the funding of grassroots organizations uh, that allow uh, their demands to be made of society and of, uh, of government. And that's the whole idea. You've got to demand justice.